Hello guys, what is up? Uh, this is Colonel Hoogie here. Welcome to... This will be, I think, the first video on this channel. Uh, today we will actually be doing an unboxing. And the thing that I bought today is hopefully going to be a solution to a problem I am having. So recently, you know, going in college and all, I bought myself a 2-in-1 laptop, specifically the HP NV X360. It includes the Ryzen, 4500U if you're wondering but the main issue that I was having is I was mainly using it for you know note taking occasional you know sketches or stuff like that but recently I began wanting to draw it. now this is the stylus that it comes with it's, you know the traditional HP stylus with two buttons over here that you program with the uh, program that's already pre-installed on the laptop so the issue that I was having was um, palm rejection when it comes to you know taking notes and all that usually you're drawing your palms not in contact with the surface it's just tip of the stylus so there was no issue there but when it comes to drawing and making all those you know refined sketches uh i lay my hand on the laptop and when you're doing that not only does it register the tip as a contact point it also registers the bridge of your hand so i was coming into issues where i'd be writing wherever my hand would be laying i'd be messing up all my sketches and all so the outcome would really not be ideal so what I've done in order to solve this issue is using, for example, a drawing glove. This is my sister's, it's for her Huion tablet, and it's a little old, but I mean, it works for now. And the issue that I've been having with this specifically, I mean, sure it works, but this is designed for the Huion and other similar style uh, tablets, where they only receive an input with the stylus tip itself, it's not finger capacitive or whatever you want to call it. So it works on her tablet perfectly fine, but for me, I have to be really light on resting my hand on the touch screen surface because if I go too heavy, the laptop screen itself would feel the palm underneath the little fabric and register it as an input. So again, even though I have the glove on, I'd still draw whatever my hand was laying on. So uh, it was starting to get a little annoying and I decided to, you know, Go online, Google, and Amazon, and all those other sites, and see what I could find. Now, I spent a good solid day searching, and all I could find were gloves similar to this, either by Huion or other brand names, uh, all around the price of anywhere from eight to fifteen bucks. And they were all pretty much the same thing, same type of fabric. Um, I went throughout the comments, and other people had similar issues. Other people swore by it and said they were amazing. But, you know, having experience with this, I didn't really want to buy it and be disappointed by it. So I wanted to investigate a little more and see if I could find something else, something new, something different that might work a little bit better. So after a while, I found this company by the name of Dokiware. And what they specialize in is that they've been making these, uh, I'm guessing fairly new or fairly recent. I'm guessing they only have a couple years in business. Uh, please correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. But, uh, what they do is that they design special drawing gloves with palm rejection technology, as you would so call it. Where, uh, specifically designed, for example, for the laptop users like me, or tablet users, for example, drawing on an iPad or something. Where, uh, they would have to face the issue of palm rejection. So, the model that I specifically got was, uh, pronunciation-wise, I think it's the Mezo Black V3 Silverback Drawing Gloves. And uh, the interesting part that I found about these is that uh, they offer not only palm rejection, but support and comfort apparently in the glove. Because as you can see with these traditional style gloves, uh, it's literally just kind of like a sock, a nylon sock that you put over your hand. That's supposed to you know make your hand glide smoother across the surface and make drawing easier. But what these have that really interested me is that it has have a couple of patches of palm rejection material along the bridge of your hand as well as support on your wrist, which really interested me. Because, you know, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you're, you're also uh, either trying to get into the drawing space or already in the drawing space. And, you know, after a while of drawing, your hand starts to cramp up a little bit. You start to get your forearm muscles a little tired. So something that not only solves my issue, but provides style, comfort, and as well as support while doing that, uh, you know, I was really interested. So I bought it. It took around like three days to arrive. Uh, if you're comparing price-wise, uh, these Huion nylon type gloves usually go anywhere from 8 to like around 15 bucks is what I saw. Anywhere from like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, all those sites. Uh, but uh, 
Mezo, uh, I specifically bought, this is the newest version I think that they have, the V3 uh, Silverback. This one went for around 19 bucks, I think, plus in, in total with shipping and all taxes, it was around like 25 bucks. So about $10 more expensive. Uh, in my opinion, it was worth it, but uh, we'll see if the extra $10 paid off. So let's get to opening this. So in the bag, let's see, we have order received the confirmation. You don't want to see that because I don't want to give away my shipping address. <laughs> but we have the little classic bag, CG Art Glove, Mezo series by Dokiware. That's really nice. Uh, it's all sealed. How do we get this open? Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to just pull from here. And yet I was right. All right, so let's open this up and see what's inside. Inside we have the glove itself. I'll put it off to the side and we'll look at it in a bit. We have this thing. Um, basically just a piece of cardboard saying thank you and all that information. Um, some more instructions, how to remove, how to put it on. I'm guessing it's, you know, just like any other normal glove, but if you want, you can just take a look at it, read it after it. I'll probably take a look at it off screen to make sure I don't damage anything. Uh, washing instructions in case you're planning on washing it in the future. I certainly am because I don't want it to get dirty or too dirty over time. And well, here we go. This is the glove. Uh, on the side, it looks kind of like, you know, almost like a navy bluish green, but I'm guessing that's because of the lighting. It says black in the name, so you know, you would expect it to be black. But this is the glove. It certainly feels more nylon y. I guess, than, you know, the Huey on glove. You can also see that little, like, glimmer, metallic shine that gives it reflecting off the light. But that might just be because this glove is old. Uh, so we'll not dishewing out on that. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I hadn't noticed that my video had cut out uh, while I was starting to introduce the glove. So, uh, here we go again. Uh, as I was saying, on the side, it's appears in, like, navy bluish type of shape, uh, shade. Um, in terms of coloration, if you're in person, it's a black, you know, it says black in the name, you're assuming to be black. Uh, I'm not disappointed, uh, but all in all, you know, feels nylon-y, more of a nylon, I would say, than this, but you know, this could be old, because you know, it's like two years of old, it's like it could just be normal wear, but you know, they definitely do feel a little different. This one's a little more smoother of a feel, I guess, more silkier. Uh, over here, we have the palm rejection technology, as we are so calling it. And it's basically microfiber that's just sewn onto the glove itself. It has almost like a leathery type feel, which really feels honestly really nice. Um, same thing, so we have some microfiber going along the bridge of the hand, which is over here, enveloping the pinky, and then the ring finger. Uh, nothing else on the other parts of the glove. Um, Support-wise on the wrist, you know, this part over here is really just, you know, two pieces of fabric that are just sewn back to back. But uh, I guess the support mainly comes from this Velcro strap right here, which um, I'm guessing should do fine. You know, you don't need too, too much down there, but you know, something is something. Um, size wise, they have a sizing chart on their website. Apparently I am a large, which I had a difficult time believing because, you know, I have fairly average sized hands. Um, but according to the fit that I'm seeing right now, I think large was the right chance to go, maybe slightly larger. It is a little, you know, like, you could feel the compression in there, but it's not, you know, it's that nice type of feeling of compression where it feels nice, but you're not choking, you know, the blood pressure out of your hand. <laughs> but, you yeah, know, feels great in the hand, uh, because of, you know, the little microfibers over here. It's a little stiff when it comes to opening and closing your fingers, but you know, shouldn't cause too much of an issue. Overall feels really nice and supportive. I wasn't really expecting to, for my wrist to feel that great, honestly. Um, stylus wise, you know, grips it perfectly fine. You can write perfectly fine with it. Uh, now that I'm noticing it, uh, it doesn't glide as smoothly on a surface as the Huion glove does, but um, again, we're drawing. It shouldn't be too, too much of an issue considering we're not afraid of smudges. As long as our wrist doesn't produce any touches on the screen, we should be fine. 
Um, let's drop it. All in all, it feels pretty good, to be honest. I can open my, close my hand perfectly fine, wrist movement's perfectly fine. Material wise, it feels good, it's breathable. I don't feel my hand getting sweaty in this anytime soon. Don't feel it on the side, of course. Gotta put the branding on there. Um, again, nice. The Velcro is actually really strong, which I like, because that is usually one of the first things to fail. One of the issues that I saw on uh, online when reading about these specific gloves is that uh, the little stitching that connects the microfiber to the glove itself, sometimes it would either come frayed or starting to tear off or stuff like that. So far, on following initial inspections, which is all I'm really gonna do because that's all I really care at the moment, um, I don't see any of that, to be honest. Like, you can see a little bit over here where, like, you know, the lines aren't really all that straight when it comes to stitching, but there is no stitching that you, that's, you know, I'm afraid it's gonna tear off or it's gonna rip off or anything like that. Everything's sewn perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna fire a Krita on the laptop. Uh, compare, you know, the Doki glove with the Hyunyeon glove, and then compare it to my bare hand, and see how things go. Alright, so here we're gonna start off with a drawing test. First we're gonna start off barehanded and see how that works. Um, as you can see, I'm writing, but, you know, there's a little dot right there, so, you know, it has some palm rejection, but, you know, sometimes it still sneaks on by. Uh, that and start with a fresh board. I'll try out the Hue Young glove. Put that on real quick. All right, there we go. As you can see, Hue Young. Stylus. Good on Hue Young for now because you know it hasn't messed up since. But I have had issues with the Hyuion. It's not showing on this test, since I'm really only, you know, drawing a couple lines in this. But, you know, I've had, had this issue, a couple of those issues before. You might not, so, you know, still a viable option. And... Clean it off. And then we shall start off with the Mezo. Silver back, D3. Ladies, we have the lot of them. Right, as you can see, the maser. And the palm in a little bit. See if that doesn't really nothing. Knuckles. Palm. Okay, there we go. Palm works, but you're not lighting with the palm, so we're gonna be concerned about that. Nothing. I'm doing it rougher on this one because you know I haven't tested this one out before, so I don't know if it causes that issue that the Union Glove had with me. And so far, nothing. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. There was one little issue right there, but I pushed it on the wrist, the point where it doesn't have that little microfiber membrane. Um, but so far, good on Doki. Like for real, nothing is going through. Well, nothing that's in contact with the little microfiber patch, which is, you know, what they're trying to do. Um, I'm really surprised, to be honest. It's really nice, I really like it. Also, don't mind my mistake, I still need to shove two fingers through the same hole. <laughs> Face that out right now, real quick. I literally just noticed that right now. I'm like, why is it so tight? There we go. But yeah, I really like the feeling. So, so far, a plus on Doki. I'll try to send an update video in a couple of weeks or maybe a community post if anything goes wrong. But so far, no issues so far. So, good job. Nice. Pass the test. All right. So, final thoughts on the Meizo V3 Silverback Black Color Edition. I'm not sure if they're going to come out with any colors in specific since this is specifically a little black. But final thoughts on this glove by Doki Wear. I actually really like it uh, compared, you know, to the Hyuion tablet drawing. The, compared to the Hyuion drawing glove for their tablet, God, I can't speak today. Um, 
it's really good actually i like the rigidity that has to it along this little you know seam over here the support on the wrist feels good on the hand as i said it compresses just enough to where it feels nice but not enough to cut your circulation which is good uh my sister tried it on as well she said that you know it feels really nice gives you a lot of support especially since you know after drawing for a good while lots of artists lots of artists are prone to have arthritis so yeah she approved this glove by her i approve it by me and again we're just two common normal individuals so our words don't really have any meaning to you guys but you know i like it if you guys are interested i'll put the link down below again this is not sponsored by doki where i bought them with my own money and i say it was worth it that's it guys for today uh hopefully i'll see you guys pretty soon with another video and talk to you later